The wife of John H. Johnson, founder of Johnson Publishing Company that created the monthly released magazine Ebony and the weekly released magazine Jet, was more than a wife. Eunice Johnson made a name for herself within the publishing company as the secretary treasurer, in the fashion world as the producer and director of Ebony Fashion Fair, and in cosmetics as the founder of Fashion Fair Cosmetics. She was born on April 4, 1916 in Selma, Alabama into a well-educated family. Her father was a physician and her mother a high school principal. Eunice continued the legacy of education in her family by graduating from Talladega College with a degree in sociology and a minor in art and attained her master's degree in social work from Loyola University in Chicago. She was also a member of Delta Sigma Theta. Mrs. Johnson met her husband while attending Loyola University and they married a year later. The couple established the Negro Digest in 1942 and due to the success of the publication, they decided to create Ebony, a monthly magazine styled after life. Eunice Johnson is credited as being the one who suggested the magazine be named after the Dark Timberwood. Mrs. Johnson was tasked to raise money for a hospital in New Orleans and from there the Ebony Fashion Tour was created, which later became, as most of us know as, Ebony Fashion Fair. More than 4,000 shows have been performed in the United States, the Caribbean, Canada, and England. Ebony Fashion Fair has raised more than $55 million for various scholarship groups. Ebony Fashion Fair provided opportunities for models who may have never gotten a chance to walk in popular fashion shows such as Vogue. Women of color were the face of the shows and the brand. Although these women were provided this opportunity in fashion, there was still an issue within the industry for the ladies. The problem was finding quality makeup for their tan to deep brown skin. Instead of waiting for the known brands to realize the importance of diverse shades, in 1973, she created her own cosmetic line, Fashion Fair Cosmetics. Following the success of the cosmetic line, of course brands such as Revlon and Avon followed suit and expanded their foundation shades. The other obstacle the Johnsons had to overcome was getting designers to sell to them. Many of the European designers were hesitant to sell their brand to black companies because they felt they didn't have the money or influence. And most of all, it may cheapen the brand if black people wore their designs. Miss Johnson made sure her voice was heard and influence was felt, especially when it came to designers that did not use black women in their shows. In the 1960s, she threatened to no longer purchase from Valentino if he did not use black models in his shows. She stated, I was in Paris and I told him, if you can't find any black models, we'll get some for you. And if you can't use them, we're not going to buy from you anymore. Well, these designers changed their tune because she was a big spender and bought creations from designers that others were afraid to take a chance on because they were unknown and just starting out. Valentino, Roberto Cavalli, Pierre Cardin, Yves Saint Laurent, were amongst the names. As time progressed, she would spend a million dollars each year on 200 complete ensembles featured in the hour and a half presentation. Mrs. Johnson died of renal failure January 3rd, 2010 at the age of 93 at her home in Chicago. 
She is survived by her daughter, Linda Johnson Rice, who is the chairwoman and chief executive of Johnson Publishing, as well as a granddaughter. Mrs. Eunice Johnson was a wife, mother, philanthropist, fashion icon, innovator, and businesswoman. She is the epitome of style, grace, and black excellence. We celebrate Mrs. Eunice Johnson this Women's History Month and forever.